Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is for the next 10 days. We're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy and the near future, and then we'll get into your person's energy and your energy. So I had already pulled, I don't know what happened to my camera, but normally I pull on if you're new uh, while we're taping, but it I had already pulled it and I didn't wanna pick it up, so we're gonna go ahead with this one. So thank you for being here. Um, I appreciate all of your support to those of you who are returning and those of you that are new, welcome. Um, I do do personal readings. That information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get back into it. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse for your recent past. The current energy, we have the Five of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Temperance, in the near future with the devil in reverse and the five of cups in reverse so we're going to get your overall energy from the bottom of the deck which is the judgment card so there's a couple different things that this could mean for your overall energy for the next 10 days this is very much about happy family making a decision to just feel good about the things that you have right now the circumstances in in which you are in um some of you could just be in a place of feeling okay even if you're watching tarot doesn't always mean that everything in life is not going well that we need advice it could just be that we're in a stable place we kind of want to get a feel for the energies that are coming and in this case i'd say it looks good now the eight of swords is what had come out on the bottom of the deck prior to so there was a sense of a possibility of feeling a little bit stuck now are you still happy under the circumstances? Yes. It feels good. I mean, there's going to be a bunch of different things that we pick up on in the reading. But right now, I sense that there's just a need to be okay with the way things are and being happy about it. All right, so let's look at the recent past. We have the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse. So there was... There was definitely some difficulty around something breaking apart. Now, wanting there to be happiness in the family situation or revisiting the idea of what we thought was happiness in a relationship is what could be going around and around in your mind. And that could have been why I saw the Eight of Swords. The feeling of being stuck because this to me looks like there was a breakup of either a partnership or a marriage. It could have even been that there was a shift in home. So finding a way to be happy, no matter where you end up, if it was a forced situation for some of you, yes, it could be a little bit emotionally draining. There's some sadness around it, I feel. Um, definitely if you've had a marriage that it split up. This could have been years ago. Sometimes these energies pop back up because for some of you, someone needs to hear a message that um, things are turning around. Even if it's been years since that happened, some of that may still be lingering and you're just at a place now where you're healing from it. So the Page of Pentacles in reverse, it's kind of a stunted energy is what I, I sense. Like a part of you felt like you just couldn't get that new start that you were looking for. Or there was a little bit of frustration around the stability. How am I going to figure out how I'm going to move to this new location or is it going to be as stable for me? Am I going to be able to take care of all the financial aspects of things? Something of that sort is what I'm sensing for some of you. Now, others of you could just be really guarded because of what happened in a past long-term relationship with somebody, someone that you seriously considered. Um, it is the 11-11 card, so could you have been dealing with someone you felt was a twin flame? Very much so. And could that have been someone who was, you know, terrible with money? The Page of Pentacles in reverse, someone who just didn't know how to get on their feet and get started, could have been, um, as well as just unstable, is what I sense. So there was a, a difficult time emotionally in the past. We'll get some clarifiers and see what's going on with that. Now, in the current energy, we have the Five of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Wands. So there's a sense of fighting for the desired outcome which is what we all want to do right the seven of wands is about being a little bit vulnerable but also fighting for what you want so if you had to make a change around your home 
and you're not going to settle for less than what you deserve. In other words, let's say a job has asked you to move and it's creating some kind of instability in your home situation. Maybe the family is having a difficult time accepting that you have to make that change. If that's the case, um, the Wheel of Fortune is in the center to tell you that everything is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to be and that yes, the family will be okay and they'll be happy with this shift and change. For some of you, it could just be that you're closing out one cycle and you're moving to a new place because it's the next step for you. Um, some people could be empty nesters. I get people from all different age groups that watch my readings and you could be, let's say, downsizing and maybe questioning leaving behind everything that was about your family and you've decided, nah, we'll be better off. Um, you know, and this is like standing your ground and saying, you know, I, some people may not agree with our decision, but this is what we really feel strongly or yourself if it's not a, a we situation. Whatever it is, you're going to be fighting for what's right for you. And even being vulnerable and able to open up and say, hey, listen, you know, we'll figure this out. This is going to work out regardless of who has what to say about the change. Things look really good. This is a turn in the right direction. We just don't always know how things are going to turn out because we can't all see exactly what the future has in store for us. But this is definitely a, a good sign that things are going to be all right. It's in the center of the reading. And then for the near future, we have the temperance with the devil in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. So there's going to be some patience needed for sure. Um, could it have been a difficult time? I feel like some people within this situation were not happy about it. Maybe there was a lot of sadness. But just know that as you have the patience to get through that shift and change and get beyond the emotional sadness of it, even if it felt at the time um, like there, you couldn't let go of that connection, the devil doesn't always have to be bad. Sometimes it just means that we have maybe an unhealthy connection to something and we don't know how to release things and accept change. In this case, they're asking you to just be patient through these changes because what's on the other side of it is that wheel of fortune. I just can't get away from that. Now, had you moved out of a relationship and you've ended a marriage and it was difficult, let's say on kids, and you're having a tough time, this is an indication like have patience with yourself because these things will shift and change. It isn't going to be heartbreak and pain forever. We do eventually release some of that, if not all of it, and move forward. It's like, I feel like they want to say that the angels have you. She's going back and forth with her cup. It's like, yes, this is how it used to be. Yes, this is how the new can be. That's what I feel like. It's the back and forth of what I used to have versus what I'm going to have in the future. So try to, if you can, have as much patience as possible. Now, how was, I want to make sure I get them back in place. All right, so let's clarify the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Wands. I do feel like somebody has drained your energy quite a bit, whether it be that this was an ex or just the situation in general, what love you had for it has, you know, it's tested you a bit. So let's see, with the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, please, what do we have? So we have the Six of Cups with the Knight of Swords and, oh, the Six of Wands, which is great. Victory after this. And the Five of Cups in reverse just says that you will get over the emotional difficulty or the emotional strain. The direction of these cards is what I love. So with the Six of Cups, this is somebody's energy wanting to come towards you, or this could just be the energy of the situation saying, clarity's coming and there will be balance. If there was a relationship that was not, which a lot of us have been through, then something new, some clarity about a new situation is going to be coming towards you and that's what's going to make you feel like you can get through anything. So do know that things will balance out. It could just be that there's a message that has to be delivered and when you get that news, or you did already if this is in the recent past, that's what made you feel like, okay, we can move forward. We're going to be okay. This is going to be great. 
like let's expect the unexpected and enjoy the process because you're actually I want to say you're winning so things are going to be good moving forward okay so let's look at the four of wands in reverse with the queen of cups in reverse this is for Virgo So we have the Two of Wands with the Fool card and the King of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Eight of Swords. There's that Eight of Swords that I had seen before we started. Now, do you feel a little bit stuck? You can. And a lot of times we do feel stuck when we don't know exactly what the future holds or we can't see how things are going to work out. But this is a huge indication that no matter what these circumstances are, that you will see or you started to see in the recent past that things can move forward. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and then we have the full card. So it's that energy of, yes, I can do this. I'm going to take a leap of faith, go ahead and pull the trigger on this and things will be okay. If you're moving your family to a different place, it's accepting that this is going to be a great change and we will make it work. And then we have the King of Swords in reverse. So you may be holding back just a little bit about how you feel. Now, this could also be somebody else whose energy you sense isn't speaking the truth, which could make things difficult. Now, that person isn't telling you. This is a whole different story. If you're dealing with somebody from the past, they're not speaking up. This is somebody who does not have a lot of integrity. And that could be why you're being pushed to step away from this person. Now, it could also be that somebody has something to clear up and they just are being pushed as well to take that leap of faith and come forward and say, listen, I don't know where the future, um, what it has in store for us, but I'd like to take a chance. So they just haven't had the ability to speak up and say this to you. If this is a past person and you're already out of this relationship, that's not who I'm talking about. This could be somebody else who's kept quiet for a period of time and has possibly an interest in you. Now, they may also sense that you're a little bit closed off because you did come out of a relationship. So they may not be in a place where they feel comfortable speaking their truth. But I do feel an energy that wants to take a step forward, sees the possibility of a future with you. So that's going to be a, a totally different story. That may just resonate for a few people. Now, the sense of being stuck. We know that that doesn't mean that you are. You may just feel a little bit right now. Like I don't want to make too many quick decisions. Enough is happening already. And I just, I kind of want to get past this point and see how things start unfolding. All right. Then let's clarify the five of swords with the wheel of fortune. So we have, again, temperance, the two of cups in reverse, and then the king of Wands. That is my narcissist card. And then we have the strength in reverse. Now you could be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries. I have Capricorn Sagittarius, um, Cancer Pisces, or Scorpio. Well, those are the strongest energies I'm picking up right now. So strength in reverse is on the bottom. Could it have worn you out a little bit? Yes. There might be still a tad bit of internal conflict about how this circumstance, whichever the one is that I mentioned, is going to work out for you. We've got temperance. Again, it's asking you to have patience. Where things may not seem to be coming together, the Two of Cups doesn't have to necessarily be about love. It could just be about things working, something between you and the universe, some agreement that you have, and you're like, okay, I need this to work out right. And right now, you're just not 100% sure that everything is aligned. And then we have the King of Wands. Could you have been dealing with something or someone, a circumstance that felt very toxic or difficult, very possibly. You could have been dealing with somebody who was also um, incapable of connecting on an intimate level. They could have had a lot of uh, tendencies to do things like trigger or, you know, create problems. If you went through a divorce and you have to move, it seems as though this energy has tried to make things difficult, but Spirit's asking you to have patience that this is going to work out and there is for sure something good coming towards you. There's victory in the past. So this is closing that out. I'd say this energy is no longer able to because you fought a good hard fight and things definitely turned in your favor. Being vulnerable 
um, probably helped in some way get you beyond not being vulnerable to them, but just with yourself and being honest with yourself and having patience with the situation, whether you could with the person or not. And then you're going to move forward and understand why, you know, you had to take that time or you had to be patient with yourself as things moved in the direction of positivity, of working out in the way that you wanted it to. So if you are dealing with um, moving your family to a different location, and this could have been for work, I'd say that that again, have patience with that. Right now, you and your partner could be having a little bit of trouble seeing eye to eye, and that could be creating some of that disconnect with your partner because one of you is more sure about how this is going to turn out than the other. All right. Now, you got to rebuild that strength because that's obviously it's going to take a lot of energy to get through all of these different situations for those of you that this resonates. All right, so let's look at the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Wands in reverse. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, very much about stability, the Page of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse with the Lovers in reverse. So this is all about finding that new stable place. So once you go through the changes, it looks like you will be in a position of feeling like, okay, this was the right decision. I know things are going to go in my favor. It's feeling good. So if you're not quite there yet, you could be in the next couple of weeks. Now the page of wands tells me there's something else I feel like someone has to say. This could be a child that's very supportive and very passionate about wanting to make sure that things are taken care of. This could even be a child that pushes you a little bit. Or it's just a younger energy that's around you um, that's very passionate about helping you find that stability, support. It doesn't have to necessarily be somebody younger. It could just be an energy of someone who is very supportive to you. Could be the opposite or the same sex. Doesn't matter. And then we have the Seven of Cups because... Um, you're in a position now where there is no more confusion about what steps needed to be taken. So it, it's a good position to be in. Your vulnerability is paying off. The clarity is there. The steps that you've taken are going to put you in a position where you come out the other end 100%. Not only looking good, but very stable financially and if this is a new beginning too, I'm, I'm getting another message. This could be have faith that things are going to work out, that you are going to make enough money to be able to take care of things. If you haven't gotten a new, they're talking about a new position. It's not the Ace of Pentacles, but something's going to create that stability that you're looking for. It's like something comes out of nowhere and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I'm actually going to be able to, to handle all of this on my own. So it feels like a very independent energy for some of you. All right, so let's look at the devil with the temperance. The devil in reverse. This is for Virgo. So we have judgment in reverse, the two of swords, and the five of cups, and then we have the high priestess. So your intuition in the near future um, is going to be incredibly heightened. It could be that there's something that has to be decided. Remember, we had judgment before and we were talking about the, ha the happy family, excuse me. With judgment in reverse, there could be that back and forth feeling. Some of those emotions are going to be stirred up, but you're getting beyond them. With the two of swords, yes, you have a decision to make. You have to use your intuition. You've already released so much toxicity or codependency and, and things like that. So maintain that patience because your intuition is definitely going to lead you in the right direction. So if you have a choice to make in the near future, let's say it's about, it could be about a place that you need to live. They want you to trust it and make sure that it's something that feels stable to you. You'll have the clarity that you need. If you're wondering right now, if you're going to have the clarity, you will definitely. The Two of Swords is about figuring that out, making a decision, but it's a clear decision. And I know your intuition is going to be right there with you to help you make that choice. The Four of Pentacles could also indicate that there's a need to be cautious with your money. Maybe hold back just a tad. You may be feeling that way in general. Um, we've definitely talked about a lot of different stories. If you've needed to hold on because you have to make a shift, 
Um, they're just saying save money. Make sure you have enough there in case of uh, in case there's some emergencies. Nothing extreme. Just like oh my god, we have to go buy more boxes if we're gonna move, or we need this money for backup and for hooking up cable. You know things like that. So you just want to make sure that you know that now. Oh, and then hold on. We've got one more card. So the Wheel of Fortune comes back out again. So this is, things could be happening, surprise money. Maybe you get some support from someone in the family. Somebody comes, something comes along and just helps support this transition for you. Okay. Let's see. All right, so let's look at Temperance and the Five of Cups in reverse. This is for Virgo. So we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse again, which I think we had earlier. Strength in reverse and the Sun in reverse. And then the Lovers. So as you move forward, you may find that you're, you do feel a little bit drained. It could feel a little exhausting. You definitely could have been dealing with a Leo if you were separating or getting out of a marriage. And it, it, it feels like you can't quite move forward. But... They're showing you that you're going to have a decision to make, right? You're getting past the, the pain. You're getting over the hurt and possibly even some betrayals. And things are going to move forward. So this is kind of that stuck energy saying, give it a little bit of time because you're going to need to rebuild your strength and find your, your joy again. Because it can be tough. Anytime you make big changes like this, it can definitely be difficult, emotionally draining as well as just draining on your energy in general. All right, my dears, let's clear this and we'll get into your person's energy and your energy. Okay. This is for Virgo. For their person's energy and their energy, please. So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Your energy is the Moon in reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. And then the Ace of Swords. So I feel like there's a clear new direction for this relationship. Now, your person's showing up as the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Five of Wands and the page of swords with the knight of pentacles in reverse so this is somebody i feel whose energy is kind of shut right uh, shut right shut down right now now could they be a little bit difficult to deal with maybe a little bit argumentative very much so if this is somebody from your past this person seems to want to speak up but they're not taking any steps forward maybe they're feeling a little bit of instability in their own life and they don't have the ability to do that this could also be inner conflict for them so maybe they're not open to the idea of a new beginning. If this is someone from the past that you are interested in, if not, I totally understand. But they just seem to be in a position where either they're they're watching or they're, they have something clearly that they want to say about how they've been feeling. Where the reason why they can't open up and start anew. Now, if you're in a relationship with this person, you're curious about what's going on for them. I feel like they had a difficult time in the past situation you may be aware of this and it's hard for them to get into new relationships so for them they don't feel very stable i mean they want to be straightforward with you but this is internal stuff for them it has nothing to do with you all right so your energy is the moon in reverse with the knight of cups the four of pentacles and the knight of wands now this showed up in the last reading almost identically this is being very open and willing it's i swear these were the same four cards you could be dealing with a Leo um, and the Leo cards were all over the place. So it's very much about um, this person's energy is, which is you being open and wanting to love no secrets, no hiding, no holding back. I feel like you're ready. I just don't feel like this person is. So you're passionate. You're open to love. You're definitely not going to hold back how you feel. Now, this could be cross -wasters. You could flip the energies. I don't normally say that, but in this case, if there is somebody watching, I was meant to say that for you. All right, so let's look at the Romance Angels. This is for Virgo. All 
All right. So we have past life relationship. Express your love. And it is safe for you to love. And then chemistry. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I'm going to tell you what I think that is. I don't think that there isn't chemistry. I think your person doesn't believe that maybe they deserve it. Maybe they don't understand how it is that you could feel the way that you do about them. Sometimes people don't know how to take love. It, you know, especially if they've had difficult childhoods or dealt with parents that, you know, left them or they had narcissistic parents not understanding how to receive love. It can be really tough for someone who's been through stuff like that. So past life relationship, you have known each other before. I do feel like this is a strong connection, at least from your perspective. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I do think there is on both your parts. I think your person just has fear that you may not feel the same way that they do. And that's what keeps them from moving forward. This is, like I said, it's internal stuff for them. All right. So let's look at the lover's oracle. That was quick. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And then we have sacred union. Honor and treasure relationship for it is truly sacred. That's how I feel. I feel like another one needs to come out. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. All right. So last but not least, we're going to get a couple messages from the wisdom of the oracle. From spirit. This is for Virgo. All right. We have round and round. Not for you. Unfinished symphony. No place like home. And we've been talking a lot about home in this reading. And then building blocks. This is a brand new beginning. This reduces to a 10. So this is about that starting over period. If you were single coming out of a marriage, this is one step at a time. As you go through kind of these back and forth emotions about how you're going to get through this, literally one brick at a time. This is a brand new cycle and it's about building things that are going to be better in your life. When things are wiped out, it's because there is something better coming. And sometimes we can revisit it and say, you know, those, there was a lot of good memories, but there could have been some tough ones too. And now you want to build something different with the lessons that you've learned from that particular situation. You could have felt like it did. It went round and round and round. Not for you. I think that's anything from the past that has to be released. And you're understanding that now. And then we have Unfinished Symphony. This is also a 10. So this is about new beginnings. So there might just be a revisit from some energies of, you know, closing out those cycles in order for the new to start. You may have to kind of deal with those and release them in order for this new beginning. And then no place like home. That's a five. So the changes that I was talking about around home life is going to be significant for some of you. Very significant. Because I said either you're going to have to move home with your family and it's a change that was unexpected or there's a split in the family and you have to find a new place. And you will. The Wheel of Fortune says it's going to be something that's better than you could have expected. All right, my loves, I hope that helped. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great 10 days, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.